Hello children, how are you all? Welcome to the English class of 8th standard, 3rd language. As usual, I hope you all are ready with your textbook, pen, pencil and notebook. Now, what you are going to do, here is an activity for you. You are going to do an Activity. What is the name of that activity? Multipurpose activity. Multipurpose activity. Now what you are supposed to do here means I am going to show a thing for you. You have to You have to recognize it. And you have to name it and you have to tell what are the uses of that thing. Okay. What you are supposed to do? You have to recognize the thing. You have to name it and you have to tell the multi-purpose of that activity. Okay. Fine children. Then, your first thing, what you are supposed to identify is, yes, what is this children? See, what is this? Yes, you are right, it is folk. Yeah, now you are supposed to tell the uses of it. Yeah, okay. You are ready with your answers. Very good children. Yes. We use folk to eat food, to mix ingredients, to open lid, to pick softy things. Okay. Very nice children. Now let us move for the second thing that what you are going to use. Okay. You have to say the multi-purpose of that thing. What is this children? Yes, you are right. It is a tooth brush. Our day begins with tooth brush. Isn't it? How many times do you brush your teeth? Yeah, two times. Yeah, after waking up and before going to bed, we have to brush our teeth. Isn't it? Now let us see. What are the multi-purpose of brush? Okay. Yes, yes, your answers are right. Yeah. We use toothbrush to brush, to paint, apply hair color. Yes, you have seen at home your grandparents using brush, isn't it? If they won't get that paint brush means they make use of toothbrush. And they apply dye, hair color, isn't it? Next, to clean, comb, to scrub, anklets. We use the toothbrush. Very nice children. Now, the third thing. What is it? Jam. Wow. All are fond of jam. Let us see the multi-purpose of this jam where are, where are all we use the jam okay yes fruit jam very nice we make use of fruit jam with chapati bread apply on cake we take it as dessert and kids 
what the small children they will think it is leaves and they will apply for lipstick isn't it fine children now one more thing for you you have to identify and you have to tell the multi purpose of it fine children okay what is this very good children it is newspaper what are the multi purpose of it to know news to know what the has happened previously to know it we yeah read the newspaper to see pictures isn't it so to see the pictures to pack things to bind books yeah for all these things we use newspaper well done children all of you has said the multi purpose of the things very nice now let us move to the lesson that is shravana kumara today let us move to the next part of the lesson where we had left in the earlier class okay look at the screen children and listen carefully the sharatha was horrified by his mistake he had killed the end man causing misery to his helpless parents he took the water pot and slowly reached the hut the parents were anxiously waiting for their son as they heard the sound of footsteps they were happy dasharatha came near them and silently handed over the pot as they drank water dasharatha stood nearby waiting to inform them of the sad news of their son's death shravana's parents quenched their thirst and inquired why he was so late dasharatha told them what had happened they were filled with grief and asked dasharatha to take to the place where their son has died the embraced shravana's body and cried then they asked the king to arrange a funeral pyre for the son for them to they did not want to live without their son shedding tears dasharatha made a pyre the old parents sat on it with the body of their son and told dasharatha to light the fire as they sat weeping they cursed dasharatha o king you are responsible for our sorrow may you also die like us one day suffering the pain of separation from your son the curse had its effect long afterwards when shri rama left his parents in ayodhya and went to live in the forest okay children now it's your turn okay fine now what you are supposed to do you have to look at the screen you have to repeat after me are you ready 
very good children dasharatha was horrified at his mistake he had killed the ang man causing misery to his helpless parents he took the water pot and slowly reached the hut the parents were anxiously waiting for their son very nice okay as they heard the sound of footsteps they were happy dasharatha came near them and silently handed over the pot as they drank water dasharatha stood nearby very nice waiting to inform them of the sad news of their son's death shravana's parents quenched their thirst and and quiet why he was so late dasharatha told them what had happened they were filled with grief and asked dasharatha to take to the place where their son has died they embraced shravana's body and cried then they asked the king to arrange a funeral pyre for their son and for them to they did not want to leave without their son shedding tears dasharatha made a pyre the old parents sat on it with the body of their son and told dasharatha to light the fire as they sat weeping they cursed dasharatha o king you are responsible for our sorrow may you also die like us one day suffering the pain of separation from your son the curse had its effect 
long of the words when shri rama left his parents in ayodhya and went to live in the forest okay children very nice you all have read text nicely late after the class also you have to read the text okay fine children see look at the picture we all know shravana's parents were blind they wanted to go on yes pilgrimage so to overcome the wish of their parents shravana yeah made a kavadi and took his parents on pilgrimage on the way yeah they lived in a hut at night shravana saw that there was no drinking water in a pot isn't it so he went to nearby river to fetch a water in the same time yes you are right king dasharatha had come to the forest for hunting yeah while shravana was what yeah filling a water in a pot what did the yes the king thought that the shravana some the animal has come yeah me animal has come to drink a water as it was dark king only noticed the sound of water filling the pot he thought the animal had come there to drink the water he took his arrow and shot it it go yeah the arrow struck in the chest of shravana kumara then shravana kumara cried out loud to see yes dasharatha went to the other side of the river when he saw that he was he felt very bad and sad isn't it then shravan even at that time also shravana was requesting the king to take the water to his parents who are in thirst yeah then he left his life read isn't it at that time shravana what shravana's parents were waiting for their son look at the picture here shravana's parents they are waiting for their son did the shravana came there no who came yes you are right dasharatha took the water pot and slowly reached the hut isn't it children yeah see here yeah dasharatha took the water pot and slowly reached the hut to give the water for shravana's blind parents then what happened yeah see here dasharatha silently handed over the pot without making any noise silently he is handing yeah see here he handed the pot to the shravana's parents they took the pot they drank the water later yeah shravana they uh, dasharatha told them what has happened isn't it after drinking the water dasharatha king dasharatha informed shravana's parents about their son's death he told i had came for hunting by my mistake it was a dark i thought anim some animal has come to drink the water for the river so he, as it was dark i shot an arrow it struck into the shravana's chest and shravana died dasharatha informed shravana's parents about their son's death then the parents of shravana kumara they were in a deep sad deep misery told that you king please take us to 
near our sun. Please take us where his body is. Then King Dasharatha took the Shravana's parents to the body. Oh, okay. Then what happened? See here. Shedding tea. What happened means the in grief. They were in very sad, isn't it? Because they lost their only one son. And, no, and uh, it is a great misery, isn't it? So, by weeping, by crying, by shouting, the Shavana's parent told the Sharata to arrange a funeral pyre of our son. And for us also, on that pyre only, you also, yeah, make us to sit on that and you lit the fire. Even we don't want to live without our son. We too want to die. We don't want to live without our son. Then, shedding tears, the Sharata made a fire later. While they cursed, they cursed, Shavana's parents cursed the Dasharatha that see as we got separated from our child now hege namma maganinda dura advi even you also to maybe tumare bete se ek din dur hoti like that they cursed they cursed the Dasharatha one day the day will come your life where you have to suffer a pain of separation from your son and they left their life isn't it later one day as shravana's parents cursed the sharata the one day came in a life of the sharata his elder son shri rama look here his elder the sharata kings the sharatas elder son shri rama left his parents in Ayodhya and went to live in forest. Okay, children, this is what a story of Shravana Kumara. I hope you all have understood the lesson. Shall I ask few questions of today's text, what we had covered? Okay, children, your first question is, who were anxiously waiting for Shravana? Good. Very nice. Parents were anxiously waiting for Shravana. Very nice children. Your second question. Who took a pot of water to the old couple? Yes. Good children. Your answer is right. Dasharatha took a pot of water to the old couple. Now your third question. Who cursed the Sharata? Who cursed the Sharata? Nice. Good. Shravana's parents cursed the Sharata. Shravana's parents cursed the Sharata. Good children. Who left the parents in Ayodhya and went to live in the forest. Look here once again. Who left the parents in Ayodhya and went to live in a forest? Yes, your answer is right. Sri Rama left the parents in Ayodhya and went to live in the forest. Very nice children. Now, all of you have given the answers well. Good. Now, let us move to the grammar fun. Fine, children. Look here. What is this, children? See? What is this? Yeah, word. How is it? Yes, a beautiful word. Isn't it? Very nice. What are these? Stars. What is the color of stars? Yellow stars. Very nice children. What is this? 
speakers. What is the picture is indicating here? Yeah, loud music. See, it is showing the loud music. What are these children? Oranges. Yeah, how many oranges are there? Three oranges. Very nice. Yeah, a girl. See here, how nicely she is holding a puppy. Yes, very nice. A kind girl. What kind of a girl? A kind girl. She is very kind to the puppy, isn't it? Now, look at the sentences here. A beautiful bird, yellow stars, loud music, three oranges, a kind girl. Focus on the words here, children. Beautiful, yellow, loud, three, kind. What does these words indicate? Yeah, these are the describing words. What do we call these words? Yes, children. These are said to be adjectives. Fine. Adjective means, already you know. Let us recall these things. An adjective is a word used to describe or give more information about things. It gives more information about things, ideas, people, nouns or pronouns. They make our sentences more interesting. Example. Look at the example here. Just. There are flowers in the vase. This is a normal sentence. To make our sentences more interesting, we put the words. And those words are adjectives. Isn't it? See. How can we make uh, this uh, sentence? There are flowers in the vase. How can we make it more interesting means there are pink flowers in the vase. There are beautiful flowers in the vase. There are fresh flowers in the vase. The words pink, beautiful, fresh are adjectives. Very nice children. Now here is an exercise for you. What you are supposed to do means you have to underline the adjectives in the following sentences. Okay. I will read out the sentences just to note it down. The adjectives. The first sentence. An elephant is a big animal. The mangoes are sweet. There are eight plants in the pond. I saw a black sheep. My mom has long hair. Okay. Ready? Very soon you have finished. Okay. Let us check the answers. Yes. In the first sentence, big. Very nice. In the second sentence, sweet. In the third sentence, eight flaws. The word eight. In the fourth sentence, black. Very nice children. And a fifth sentence, long, big, sweet, eight, black, long. These are the adjectives. Well done children. You have done the exercise very fast and very correctly. Isn't it? Now, it's time for assignment. What you are supposed to do means, in a box, see look at the box. There are few Words. You have to choose. Yeah, describe the nouns which are given here. You have to choose the adjective from a box and you have to fill it here. Describe the each noun by choosing adjective from the box. Yes, eight, blue, beautiful, clean, tasty, long, cute, green. And these are your sentences. Okay? Will you do your homework? Very nice children. I hope 
you all have enjoyed today's session let us meet in a next session i am your teacher bibi sahera assistant teacher government higher primary school lachanakeri koppal taluk and district thank you children bye take care anudina anukshana maniyellu kaliyona kalikeya hosa hadiyali jothegoodi hecheya hakona santakadi kaliyona namma hendiyai classinali yes sir yes teacher the same ma'am